Welcome to Two Old Guys Sitting at the Balcony watching a vintage film channel offering. In today's case, it's the Super Snooper with some teasing in there. My teasing was Jason Robards was in it. Wow. But no, that was his dad, Jason Robards <laughs> Sr. Now that's an old film. It is an old film. Okay. Uh, and uh, John, you pick it up from here because you're going to talk about this other big surprise for me. I cannot believe that you did not recognize the name Andy Klein. No, I mean, I enjoyed the performance, but not a clue. He's the star of this thing. I mean, Jason Robards and Dorothy Dix, um, they were well-known, I think, actors at the time. This is 1934. Um, Dorothy Dix had a very short career, started in 31. Jason Robards Sr. was actually at, on his way out. He had right. been a big film Silent film star. Oh, by the way, just having a see, it says Jason Robards on the screen. Until yeah. his son was born and started getting into the business, he was always known as Jason Robards when his son sure. started coming on. And he was still active in the in in TV and, and uh, uh, movies himself. They added the senior to it so as not to confuse the two. Yeah. I, I Jason Robards Sr. didn't, never made it to TV. He was... He was a silent film star, had done very well, mm. but this is kind of the waning of his career uh, when he didn't make it big in talkies. Mm. But Andy Clyde, Andy Clyde was a vaudevillian from Scotland or someplace and came over, worked for the Max Sennett Studios um, and became, besides just another Max Sennett clown, he became kind of a featured player mm. and got, and here's a, here he plays a rich guy. His daughter is in love with uh, uh, some guy riding a horse. And the question is, is he a legitimate uh, suitor? Right. Here's Andy Clyde on the left uh, playing a rich man. and But he's still Andy Clyde. He's right. still got the fleshy mustache. He still kind of looks a little dumbfounded at things, even though he's a rich guy. And uh, his, you'll see the his actions, the comedy skits that he does. This is the, and every Andy right. Clyde, she's going to jump on him. Oh, daddy. And you get him turn him around, he loses the papers. It's typical Andy Clyde stuff. He did that for his whole career, playing different characters. I remembered Andy Clyde first seeing him as Hopalong Cassidy's sidekick, yeah. uh, California. California something or other. Replaced Gabby Hayes mm -hmm. as Hopalong Cassidy's sidekick. Uh, but in the meantime, but that was much, much later. That was in television. He had a long career. Uh, I don't know when he died, but he he had uh, appearances in all kinds of shows and through television. But this series, um, this uh, what is it called, Super Snooper? Right. It's a short. Right. I think it's what eighteen minutes, maybe. Yep. Um, it's part of a series that he did after he left Max Sennett. He did it for uh, Educational Pictures. Is that the name of the Educational Pictures? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the company. Yep. He did a whole series of this, and he was the star. He was the lead guy in all of these educational pictures, uh, uh, shorts. Yeah, and by and the way, the popular. educational pictures is a misnomer. It had nothing to do with educating anybody in anything other than giving them a half, <laughs> I know. Hour, half hour comedy. I know. And I have to tell you that, even though I've never heard of him, he was funny, and I yes. enjoyed it. Here's a uh, robot senior. Yeah, uh, and uh, it's nothing the, like Jason Jr. Yeah, right. And then uh, Dorothy Dix, who we've uh, seen in and out, who plays uh, uh, his daughter, uh, was a, 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 I guess a great. Uh, she was uh, probably uh, a contract player in the studio. Yeah, here's a funny bit. Yeah. here, just watch this as he he. This is a porter at the hotel, <laughs> and Andy Clyde asks him if he wants to make five hundred dollars. Now, in 1934, you can imagine. What five hundred dollars was worth? A couple of like years year salary. A couple of years salary. Yeah. yeah. So the the porter fell off the ladder, and they trade places. That's the gimmick throughout this whole video. Because the dad's going undercover to check on. Yeah. The, the yeah. potential suitor. So Andy suitor. Andy Clyde then becomes a porter, and he can here he uh, makes his appearance as a porter, and then he can do all kinds of silly stuff. But it's a cute movie. It's it's. Oh, I just. Hit a button that did something. Sorry. Wow! Congratulations. Well done. Let's pick. Let's pick it up with um, me saying that it's a cute movie. All right. Okay. No, uh, I like your button. Your button was good. Well, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden my mouse is going crazy. Okay. 
<laughs> but you know what? You know what? Did you write for the Super Stupid series? I, I I must have. I have a fix for all of these buttons and mouses going crazy. It's a good slug, slug of coffee. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that makes everything better. Okay. Thank you. Good. Um, any rate, uh, Andy Clyde was very successful in these shorts. I don't know how many they made for educational pictures, but over a dozen, I would say. And they were very popular. He became a relatively big star, but they were shorts. They weren't feature films. And nevertheless, he appeared in other people's feature films as characters because he was always Andy Clyde, yeah. right? He's a comedian with a gimmick and a character. And and you can see, if you remember him as uh, California in the Hopalong Cassidy films, uh, and I don't know how many Hoppy films they made, uh, he he was the same guy, you know. He looked the same, acted the same, talked the same. Great character. I think these are funny films. Yeah, no, and I, I enjoyed it. And you know what? This is just another example on Vintage Film Channel uh, that there's all sorts of like these little jewels in yeah. there. And before yeah. I knew about the Clyde dude, uh, <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it anyway. Watched the whole thing. And, well, you uh, kids... You kids, you kids have no appreciation of the old films. That's all I can say. Yeah, what's the matter with kids today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, join join us uh, uh, for the next movie that we uh, review. But in the meantime, if you can't wait another week, go over to the Vintage Film Channel on YouTube or vintagefilmchannel.com and right. just avail yourself of lots of stuff that you're going to find probably remind you of things you saw as you were growing up uh, yeah. and uh, just have a good time. Yeah. And and we'll see you soon on Celebrating Act Two. Feel free to like us and uh, join us and subscribe anytime you like. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.